sir everyone's working from home yeah yeah everybody i am working from sonia ma'am are you also working from home <laughs> ah working from home i think once i did uh, go to the office but uh, different borders you know so haryana and delhi uh, have uh, in the last uh, 17 odd days uh, they've got some uh, strict advisory of not crossing the borders so oh, yeah. that is has been a problem uh, good morning archana good. you can get started yeah. good afternoon everyone thanks for joining us today is the beautiful afternoon of saturday and we welcome you to the 8th edition of business opportunity of chai webinar series which frontiers india is presenting to you during these course of action during this particular 40 45 minutes we'll try to give you the understanding about very famous brand super donuts we welcome our panelist chairman frontiers india gorav sir nrmd ms sonia choudhary to this particular session we also welcome our brand founder kepan kalra who is there with us to give us the understanding about his brand super donuts its first india's first organized donut brand started in 2013 currently they are running 10 plus outlets successfully and 15 coming soon with this introduction i would like to invite ketan to take this journey forward thank you so much hello good afternoon everyone uh, first of all i would like to thank franchise india for giving me this opportunity and i would like to introduce myself i am ketan kalra and i am an mba in international marketing and i've done my food and technology course from london back in 2011 and 12 when i uh, before i started this brand called super donuts and i am 30 years of age so let's just talk about the brand first how did it emerge how did it happen it's a very funny story but a very interesting one as well so yes so i always as a kid wanted to start something in the fnb industry because i was a mediocre student in school and we had less options because i didn't want to be an engineer or anything else like her parents apne bachcho kehte hain engineer ban jao doctor ban jao so i had this free um, uh, thought about from my parents ki tumko jo karna hai bas so i when i was in london i used to see a donut shop every day whenever i used to go to my college so wahan pe there was a very long queue always so then i got an idea ki yahan pe to samosa ki tarah donuts bik rahe hain london mein <laughs> so then i wanted to bridge the gap in the fnb industry in india and this market was untapped there were a few players like mod dunkin donuts and uh, even crispy cream now it's in india but that time there wasn't any big player so in 2011 and 12 i did my whole research on the same model how donuts are made everything at the same time i was doing my food and technology course so there was a lot of knowledge to observe and absorb so uh oh, just to say just to say so only a few players were doing this so then uh, just a second am i audible i can't see the screen yeah so yeah so my research uh, said that the staple food of america was only uh, donuts and uh, they used to complement it with american comfort food and in india aisa koi brand tha jo brands the bhi donuts ke they were only doing donuts and nothing else so that's when we came into the image uh, in the position to open our first store hello so uh, i'm audible we can yeah we can hear you well absolutely sorry for the issue i think uh, ketan has logged off so can anybody tell him to they join i think his internet is i have told him sir
by the time i think getan joins in uh, we thank everyone to be a uh, part of this session why we invited getan to be uh, presenting today because uh, i personally come from chandigarh so i happened to go to his store once he has a small store in sector 8 uh, where he i think started and i was very impressed him in mean, this store should be about uh, maybe a 150 or a 200 square feet and the way he is is managed full efficiency very well trained people and uh, and the product was fantastic i'm not personally don't eat too much of sweets but i took it home and everybody loved the product and see we saw that uh he he was a very credible and very focused young entrepreneur he's obviously 30 and uh, and we see a lot of uh, young people out there who who are brilliant and they and he studied himself and built his central kitchen in chandigarh and uh, uh built a significant product uh, so uh, we very impressed with uh, his product so i'm really sorry there was some problem with the internet i'm really sorry okay. okay very good so you're back so we cannot see you obviously i'm trying uh, the video is going to start in any like in any minute so i'll start speaking uh, so where were we that uh, i was doing my research in london and then i happened to go to europe and did all my research uh, you know finalized all the raw material uh, looked after mixes and then tried and tested a lot of stuff then the final product came after 6 months and then we were all set to launch our first store in sector 8 chandigarh and even today the uh, raw material is still coming from europe and uh, we are getting a great response so yeah so when we opened our first store in chandigarh we were sold out every day for the first 3 months and it became an instant hit over all in all age groups so uh after 6 months we started a second store and then third it started to multiply and uh, you know we until the time we were not ready for a very strong back end support we did not start to franchise it ahead so now we are 12 running stores uh we have 12 running stores right now and more than 15 we have signed after this ends we're going to start opening our stores very soon our first store in delhi which is ready and all set to you know open Uh, is just waiting for this to end at the same time yeah and we recently thanks to franchise india we recently signed a master franchise in gujarat and we are doing 15 plus stores in gujarat in this coming financial year yeah. so let's talk about the brand's uh, uh, menu so the menu is very different of super donuts if you go to any other donut brand you will just see donuts and coffee but at super donuts we serve a lot of stuff and it's that's why it's called super donuts the american eatery so it has products like donuts which is the usp of the brand dinkies edible tubs chocolates freak shakes to go breakfast gourmet gourmet uh, savory snacks crinkle cut fries and all of that and i would want to show you some uh, slides so these are how the products look like and we have our own in house bakery and uh, so this is the whole menu you can just take a look so now we have super dogs wraps grill sandwiches loaf sandwiches so it's all american comfort food plus the brand usp of the brand are just donuts and we do it very differently if you see uh, super drinks american thick shakes the bottles the designs the presentations are very different the fries and nacho <clears throat> sorry nachos and they're all take away jars you can just take them away so it's a new concept we all have been seeing this concept in india since the last 3 years like what kevinters is doing but yeah also we have our own uh, jars and tumblers for all of this so it's a very innovative and creative menu So now let's talk about the pricing of the brand as you can see um the pricing is according to the indian market we've closely monitored the indian palle and started localizing the product and also we have kept in mind the price range if you go to super donuts in 250 rupees you can have a meal for yourself and most of the brands are not offering this price uh, range and we also globalize our product like majorly uh globalize uh, 
for example a butter chicken donut or maybe a chicken keema uh, burger very different products you know which can you know relate to the indian palate and uh, sir anything you want me to talk about gorav sir no no you talk about everything i mean the journey store capex uh, uh, we will take questions later uh, but you run through the whole concept of uh, franchise uh, what kind of investment goes in i think you have beautiful slides uh, if you can run through those yeah, slides yeah. so now let's talk about the uh, competitors so um, there were and still are some competitors in the market for us but we have an edge over all of them because of our product quality the product line the presentation the creativity and our innovation which is all derived by the following world food trends like we majorly follow the world food trends what's happening around and we quickly adapt all these products to get into the market and they are an instant hit and we one of uh, our usp is that we really really promote and you know make new products when there is something uh, some occasion in india since we have so many occasions in india like halloween we have different donuts rakhi we have a box of dinkies diwali we do donuts like gulab jamun donut and kaju katli so these things keep bringing people back we do a lot of stuff on interest on christmas mothers day fathers day so yeah and uh, i'm going to show you uh, then let's talk about the present uh, franchisee models we have so we have a franchisee model which is under uh, 300 square foot and which uh, the investment is around 19 lakhs 20 lakhs the franchisee fee is 5 lakhs and uh, we have a royalty uh, we take 8% uh, or uh, 60000 whichever is higher the payback usually our stores uh, you know pays us back in 13 to 14 months and the agreement is for 5 years and the other model is uh, which is around 800 square feet and the investment goes up to 28 to 30 lakhs uh since uh, this uh, pandemic is all over the world and uh, we all know that uh, a lot of people a lot of people are getting uh, fired from their jobs and everything so we have come up with a we are working on it a new financial model, a new investment model which will be around 10 to 12 lakhs and it's going to be like a shop and shop or maybe a cloud kitchen so that's the model we are working on Yeah. and the support the main uh, criteria when a franchisee you know takes up a franchisee so basically they want to know what support the company is going to give them so in this uh, we have a very strong support system to offer to our franchisees so as soon as we sign the loi we allot them an account manager or a franchisee manager and who helps uh, the investor from the location to the staffing to the training everything we do we provide all the solutions to all the franchisees like even the construction of the stores we get them made for them and even if the franchisee wants the uh, wants to uh, get the store made himself so we give them we call that the bible we call it the bible so we there are all the sops and all the drawings so they can get get the store made themselves we give them all the vendors and everything as soon as the store uh, is ready we get up on the marketing part and we have a very good hold in marketing because we hire a pr company for every city we enter and then uh, we have a pro post and a free marketing plan for the franchisees we connect with the best influencers in the city and make them a medium to promote the brand throughout we also tap the radio holdings and you know the facebook and insta marketing which is the in thing these days so we are not much into print media because we all think that it's an old medium since it's a young and a fresh brand for millennials how many millennials you know uh, uh, follow the marketing trends now so we are exactly on the same lines how all of this is going on
So anything else uh, you want me to talk about? Sure. So you want to talk about a little bit on on the sales figures, uh, what kind of sales you should do and what kind of uh, uh, some come because you're already running 12 stores. So it will be good to share some sales numbers with all our audience. Uh, what kind of sales uh, happen to each store yeah, and you kind know, of margins uh, people make. And also maybe so, the store format, you know, different kind of business models and formats you have for a franchise, including maybe a unit and a master franchise model. So let's just start from the stores and the sales and then I'll come to uh, the uh, your question. So now uh, when we have these takeaway stores, the sales which are which go up to 25 to 30k every day and uh, the areas where the footfall is low, um, the sales are like 15 to 18 grand every day. So it comes out to 6-8 lakhs a month. So uh, majorly we think that that's what we think all the stores we are running right now are majorly in high footfall areas. Uh, if we uh, talk about the smaller one, smaller model. And even in the mall we are doing, but malls are usually not that uh, footfall friendly. They are footfall friendly, but there are a lot of options in the malls. So the return of investments, uh, investment is uh, around 13, 14 months in the smaller model and in the bigger model, the cafe and the bakery model, um, around 20, 18 to 20 months. And the sales are skyrocketing. They're like 50, 60 K every day because bakery plays a very important part in the sales. Like even if you sell a cake, it's for one grand. So, uh, in the small so stores, we are not doing much of bakery. And in the cafe model, we are doing a proper cafe menu and a bakery menu. So that shoot, shoots up the uh, sales. Uh, yeah. And the food cost, our food cost is around 28 to 29%, maximum 30. And you know, the OPEX, we have a very uh, distributed menu in, the, in terms of controlling our food cost. Proper SOPs are always, uh, you know, followed. The salaries and everything we give, the training that the franchisee gets, it's uh, very different and, you know, we tell the franchisee to follow these steps and he's majorly able to, you know, uh, get into the that bracket of uh, attaining more profits and uh, controlling all these small OPEXs like menu, rent, salaries, marketing. Uh, Sonia ma'am, what was the other question? The next one? In the store format, you know, how big the format of stores is? Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would want to know. I'm seeing some questions of uh, business buyers who want to understand the kind of sales a store does and what kind of format uh, is needed. I also talked about unit and a master franchisee. Is there a model for both of them that you want to do? Uh, majorly uh, in North India, like we are based out of Chandigarh and uh, surrounding parts, we are doing uh, unit franchises in North India. And if uh, a state like Rajasthan or maybe Gujarat, which we have already signed or Maharashtra, we are planning to only give out the master franchises. And if someone takes up the master rights, he can obviously franchise it ahead. And the QSR format is uh, up to 300, 400 square feet. And the cafe model is above 800 or 700, 900 square feet. And the best part about our brand is like we are running 13 stores right now. Um, and not even one single store is in uh, lost right now. And all the franchisees we're dealing with are really happy with the business, the kind of innovation we do, the kind of products we are doing and the kind of marketing support we give them. It's uh, really good. So I, uh, everyone, all the franchisees, like I'm telling you from my experience, they have recovered. Uh, there are some in about 13, 14 months. Maximum, if the, if the footfall is low at some certain areas, it takes 18, 19 months. So that's the uh, ROI we are talking. Uh, 
great so uh, very uh, very helpful uh, anything else you want to add on on what kind of a franchisee you look at and and any other information before we we start taking questions yeah so first we scrutinize our franchise in in a way that if they have the ability to become an entrepreneur and if they are really willing to work because you know in the fnb industry it's very difficult to manage it and it uh, until the until there's this personal involvement of the, uh, i'm getting questions sir all right so until there is some personal involvement so we majorly always pick out those franchisees who has a who have a zeal to work and who wants to who want to expand it through when you know from one store they would like to have another store or maybe just run the store very successfully so we scrutinize a lot uh and uh, i was uh, uh sir dhruv wants to connect uh good afternoon everyone this is dhruv i uh, take care of the franchising part uh, of uh, ketan for ketan for super donuts pan india so uh, thanks ketan for coming in and uh, thank you for your time thank you everybody for joining this webinar so i'll just take a quick uh, you know round on the uh, support and what the brand is about so as ketan has given a gist that you know 12 uh, he started in 2012 and it was his first entrepreneurial experience it's he's come up a very very long way in a very short time i would say you know there's uh, i think it would be accumulated uh, with a lot of uh, research that has gone into the brand the quality line the products the menu the pricing the strategic location of the stores where you know high streets are there in chandigarh so sector 8 very opened up a store please uh, you know uh, wherever fnb is concerned i think high streets are the place that do it for you a lot of good footfall and depending on the kind of products that you serving that uh, area has to be shortlisted for the brand so sector 8 as he said in chandigarh is one of the most posh areas in chandigarh second store in 35 then in lante mall mohalli prime area so i think this is a format this is a store with a menu and pricing that is you know very very suitable for uh, very good catchment areas but i think with a uh, pale for such product as well is very very important i would say the usp of super donuts the american eatery is the product line and the centralized supply chain so uh, people who are interested in this product and people who are interested in fnb uh, they should realize where the sourcing is going to be so if the sourcing of the brand is all centralized so by that i mean if you have a store in delhi or you have a store in dehradun or for matter in uh, for that matter in jammu kashmir or punjab or haryana everything there are 150 products on the menu everything is pre packaged and sent in a cold chain supply system so what is the advantage of that the advantage is that your product line is all similar like if you have a taste if you uh, taste something in chandigarh or for that matter in dehradun or uh, jammu or delhi the taste will be all uh, equal it will be uh, because everything is centralized so that is the kind of you know system that we are looking at from an fnb uh, uh, perspective if your supply chain is very very sorted your logistics are sorted uh, there is a lot of support from the brand in terms of marketing so by marketing you know uh, when it comes to all the digital media handles please check out his pages super donuts india on instagram and and on facebook i think the kind of initiatives that he's taken is the key to his success uh, you know a lot of brands have a lot of good uh, product line a lot of good uh, uh, products on the menu but how you market it how you present yourself how you package it is the key so his packaging his presentation you please uh, see what he has done in his covid times to promote his brand i think Uh, a phenomenal uh, you know approach by ketan to actually enter the market and to keep his brand alive in the last two months where uh, no activity or no food supply has been going on so coming uh, to the you know franchisee models and all that that are available there are various models that are available uh, up to delhi ncr and up to i think rajasthan i would say single unit or multi unit formats are there by single unit i mean that you can take up uh, a franchisee of one single store uh, pre covid there were only three formats which were uh, qsr starting at 250 300 square feet carpet area uh, then to like a cdr casual dining to 600 to 800 square feet and a, a big restaurant model which would be 1000 to 1500 square feet carpet area investment starts off at 20 lakhs which is all inclusive the total project cost for the 300 square feet carpet area model and it goes up you know 24 25 to 30 lakhs in a larger format now this is pre covid now covid i think has changed a lot of those dynamics and what has come up now is low capex and low opex models low capex ka matlab hua ki where you're investing for example uh, you know uh, cloud kitchens have come up so even ketan mentioned that he's going to come up with a cloud kitchen he's going to come up with shop and shop models 
Now, what does that mean? Shop and shop model is, for example, you have a uh, modern bazaar or a big retail store or a big, uh, you know, area where a lot of items are on display. You can have a smaller format there in, let's say, 100 square feet or 150 square feet carpet area where you have 60 to 80 percent of the formats. A cloud kitchen, whereas, uh, you know, it is a remarkable model these days, especially with the times to come. You can have a maximum of 500 square feet carpet area in a very, very good catchment area, but in a, room, uh, in a room, uh, remoter area. For example, people who are from Delhi, I would say uh, GK1 is a very, very high street area. But, uh, you know, a 500 square feet carpet area would cost approximately two, two and a half lakhs of rentals every month. You know, that is a huge OPEX. Uh, in a cloud kitchen, whereas, for example, you take up a place in uh, Zamrudpur, which is hardly a kilometer away from GK1 main, uh, main market. A 500 square feet carpet area would cost you not more than 25, 30,000 rupees. So that means your OPEX is very, very low. But again, the point is the catchment area is really good. So here, if you invest just on the CAPEX, but you minus the cost of interiors, designs, your AC cost is gone. So these are the formats that have to be looked upon. Now, when we were talking about 20 lakhs of investment for a 300 square feet carpet area, I think a cloud kitchen in 500 square feet carpet area would not cost you more than 12 to 13 lakhs, all inclusive. By all inclusive, I mean the franchise fees, the uh, kitchen equipment, you know, uh, certain other things like your menus and your uh, chef caps, chef coats, and all those uh, smaller consumables and disposables, I would say. So these are the key trends, you know, looking at the COVID scenario, if we uh, can come up with shop and shop models for super donuts, and uh, we can come up with cloud kitchens in very good catchment areas. I think that will be a very, very good way to go forward because you'll save a lot on your CAPEX, a lot on your OPEX. Your salaries just remain the same, but your rentals are down by at least 10 12%. So all that comes into uh, play. Now, another very good stat which supports uh, cloud kitchen formats. You know why brands are going into cloud kitchens is that uh, major players like Domino's, like your Kishore Biyani's of the world are going into cloud kitchen formats. If you see the uh, latest trend, you know, there's a news on... Uh, a very popular uh, channel that we have called Restaurant India on LinkedIn. If you see the style, Domino's has actually upped its uh, sales by 7.1% in the last two months because that was the focus on deliveries. And I think with the COVID scenario, that uh, focus will remain uh, at least for the next six months to one year. So I think, you know, cloud kitchen, low OPEX, low CAPEX, high probability of sales because uh, delivery only formats will do well, uh, zero point contact deliveries will do well, sanitized kitchens will do well. So all these formats when integrated into super donuts for an area, you can really, really up your sales. And you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, great tremendous support from the brand when it comes to a training of chefs. Again, half of your battle is won because you don't require trained sous chefs and you know, head chefs, you just require people who assemble your products. Because you know, A plus B plus C plus D is equal to E. So, for example, all your products are coming from Chandigarh Base Kitchen and you're based out of Delhi. You just have to uh, assemble it. You need a guy to assemble it. You need to warm it. You need to, uh, you know, package it and send it off. So, half your work is done. You are free from all kinds of uh, chef problems. No replacement is required. You know, you just, required, you just require a, a normal guy who, um, uh, you know, gets approximately 15 to 18,000 rupees or 12,000 rupees of salary. And you're not really, really chef dependent as such. Because all your line, all your product line is coming from the base kitchen any which way, any which way. So I think uh, it's a very, very good format. And I would say more uh, the number of items on the menu, the better your prospects of increasing your top line. Uh, bottom line, you will less in the cloud kitchen because your, uh, because your uh, OPEX is low, your uh, uh, rentals is low. But your uh, product line, because it's so huge, your uh, top line can really, really increase very well. And second to that, you know, uh, Ketan has another brand called Eaters. Now, what will happen in cloud kitchen formats, this me and Ketan were discussing over a call that he can merge these two brands out of a cloud kitchen format. So if you take up a franchisee of one single uh, super donuts bakery in the cloud kitchen format, you can also have eaters. So your product line from 150 products goes up to 250 products with the same chefs, with the same interiors, with the same rental. So where your sale estimated 7-8 lakh rupees ki maine ki thi, par ab do brand ke saath aapki, uh, expected sale or projected sales could go up to to 14 lakhs and your OPEX remains the same. So cloud kitchens are really, really coming up in a big way when it comes to FNB industry. And that is what we feel will be the uh, future of FNB. So, uh, you know, we'll help you with the marketing. Super Donuts will give in, put in all the efforts for marketing. Plus we'll tell you how much money to uh, spend per month on Swiggy Zomato, uh, what to do with your websites, how to uh, increase your clicks, uh, what menu to work on. 
I think you know, uh, starting from 12 to 13 lakhs, uh, American eatery with 20 plus stores in the last seven eight years. I think it's a phenomenal concept. So, you know, coming to sales and break even, I think Ketan mentioned about seven to eight lakh rupees of sales in sector eight outlet. Of sector eight outlet, if I take an example, is a 250 square feet carpet area uh, outlet. Is me capex is ka ho gaya 20 lakh rupees ka. OPEX has me the rental because it's at a very, very prime location. He's paying approximately a lakh rupees of rent. This is the OPEX number one. OPEX two is your salary, which is approximately 80,000 rupees. One lakh 80 plus your marketing cost plus your royalty. So we are saying that you're breaking even at approximately 12 to 13,000 rupees of sale every day, which is approximately uh, 3.4, uh, 3.5 to 4 lakh rupees of sale a month. This is your uh, break even uh, sale that you require wherein you are making no profit, no loss on 3.5 lakh to 4 lakh rupees of sale. Any sales that you do above this, for example, you do 20,000 rupees of sale a day, that is 6 lakh rupees a month. You are making a lakh, 1.25 lakh rupees of profit. That ways for 20, uh, you know, 20 lakhs, you're getting your break even approximately 18 to 20 months. Now, again, we get this into a cloud kitchen format. So your sales from, uh, you know, sales will remain approximately the same or might increase with the product line with the coming trend of delivery. Your uh, salaries will remain the same, but your rent will come down to 25,000. So your profit where it was 1, 1.25 has gone up to 1.75 lakhs. So your break even further reduces to lesser amount because your capex is also low. Where your capex was 20, now your capex is 12 lakhs for the same format. Now up to Delhi, up to Rajasthan, up to UP, we can do multi-units, we can do single unit franchising. But barring that, if people are from Bombay, from Bangalore, from Hyderabad, uh, from areas which are 500 kilometers or 300 kilometers away from Delhi, NCR or Chandigarh, we are looking at master franchising only. So master franchising is basically we are looking at people who can replicate a brand, who can replicate Ketan's vision in that particular area, in that particular city or in that particular region. So uh, this is more about the brand from our side and you know uh, what uh, Ketan's vision is and what uh, progression we are looking at post COVID. Because, uh, you know, these uh, trends uh, that support the FNB industry, as of now, what we see are kitchen automated systems and uh, cloud kitchens. So we are going heavily towards that. And, uh, you know, I think this is the only way forward that we see as of now. Low OPEX, low CAPEX, maximizing on the ROI, maximizing on the marketing, maximizing on your third party integrations. So this is what we think are the future of FNB. And this is what we think is the best way forward for our brand Super Donuts. Thank you. Thank you, Dhruv. Uh, very helpful. Uh, Dhruv is part of Franchise India and uh, responsible for expansion of Super Donuts. So thank you, Ketan. I think very good insight. Now we will try to see some questions from, from the audience. Uh, and for everybody's interest, I'll give you some statistics because I am seeing a lot of uh, questions which are coming and especially for people who always want to do, uh, join FNB. And FNB is something which uh, somewhere at the back of mind everybody desires to open up his own restaurant cafe or a, or a, uh, any other format of fnb and it's one of the most attractive 35 percent of all franchise sales uh, globally come in franchising in especially in food and these days i'm hearing a lot of people coming and saying what would happen to that and i can tell you if you go and study a little bit uh, what is happening and wherever the world is opening up you know like new zealand opened up and uh, there were queues in restaurants because something which we would always do is eat good food. And uh, now when it comes to bakery, it has actually not gone anywhere. Uh, we are still having our, our breads, we are having buns, we are having a lot of other stuff in the bakery. And bakery is divided into two parts. One is what we call the industrial bakery. Industrial bakery is something which has been packed and given on the shelf. And second is what Ketan does, what is a gourmet bakery stuff. I think gourmet bakery is a shift. So a lot of people are shifting from an industrial to gourmet because it's more fresher, doesn't have too much of preservatives and so on and so forth. And then it can be further extended into both, uh, you know, other bakery or savories and so on and so forth. So Ketan has done a good job in expanding his menu. He's extended from, from just not being a specialist on donuts. He's obviously a specialist and donuts are really good for him. And he does different formats, great packaging. But he's also extended his product from both uh, the bakery line uh, and also a lot of a cafe, which is a convenience food line, which means burgers, wraps, and nachos, and so on and so forth. So it gives a possibility of many things. It gives possibility of retail business. Retail business, you come, 
you pick up your stuff and you can go and that's a good business a uh, very very strong business even in covid times you seeing all the small bakeries are open people go and pick their stuff and and uh, take home uh and it has extension of a cafe business if you people want especially youngsters like to come there and and want to sit and experience young kids want to come with families and so on so so all bakeries i know do extremely well they all day diners and so on so and it is now also can be extended to uh, purely uh, a cloud kitchen and somebody asked what is cloud kitchen cloud kitchen is where you don't have a physical uh, shop in front you are only delivery options uh, where you produce and just deliver in the neighborhood <clears throat> i personally feel uh, i would always like to go to shop fronts uh, because you see all the cakes been displayed donuts been displayed and so on so forth and you just have to uh, buy from there and bring back it is also very hygienic because it's a very process is very controlled uh, and uh, and it's uh, it's also offers a lot of safety so i think one of the strongest and why we invited ketan to come i will see that the first to return in food business would be the bakeries they would return the first and uh, they would do extremely well they will do rather thrivingly well uh, so if you are thinking your city needs one good bakery and a donut shop this is your time i saw a lot of people writing from haridwar meerut uh, kurukshetra and so on so forth so these places are fabulous places uh, the all places would do very well what i think ketan is also engineered is indian taste you know while a lot of other donut chains have come and they are also respectable organizations uh, dunkin donut or uh, crispy cream crispy cream is a uh, phenomenal organization but they all are are trying to adapt to indian so because uh, he comes from uh, uh, you know obviously being an indian indian family trained himself and so he is able to adopt a lot of taste which is absolutely apt for for indian market now there can be two formats you can also look at it one is a master franchise in some states where you the supply from chandigarh central kitchen cannot be done say for that matter gujarat he is already done but if you are in bombay i saw somebody then you need to set up a central kitchen and as a master and then you will supply to all the other outlets and it can be only just take away outlets where you just do the uh, the uh, the last dressings and so on so forth and you just pass it on to the customers he has a fabulous packaging another big business which comes to his business is is gifting um, a lot of celebrations and so people are changing now even in times of diwali now you go and gift people donuts so any uh, function happens any party happens in office or home and things like that you do that uh, bring those donuts and you go to your kids school and you take uh, donuts with you nicely beautifully packed so he has different sizes of packaging which can be uh, uh, great for gifting so it's also a good gifting business which normally other fnb players cannot offer so he has a much more extended so it's a much more scalable in that sense now for everybody to understand the food business food business runs on a science uh, and i always tell every investor to understand that science very well uh, so we have to divide the entire food into five important components one is what we call occupancy cost now occupancy cost is your rentals and so on and so forth good situation now is that rentals would come down but in a business like uh, super donuts your rental should be 15 to 20% not more than that which means that if you take a location at 1 lakh rupee uh, it should do minimum do a 5 lakh rupee sales for you it should be 15% in ideal situation but it can be in some prime location it can be extended i personally feel that this would be a good time the rentals would come down and would be a good opportunity for people to secure great locations which they would never be able to do like shopping malls would be more than happy to offer you a very very good locations we also have a separate company and gentleman has all joined uh, called remax which can help you get uh, good locations if you are looking at across india and uh, uh, ketan with work with our teams to secure locations at different i think so occupancy cost first is occupancy cost the second is food cost as we said 28% it can be 28% 30% uh, with all the imported product he gets from because he uses a lot of imported uh, products uh, and you need it you need uh, if you've been using chocolate then you might need a belgium chocolate and things like that so it needs a good uh, uh, you know 30% is your food cost so what it becomes you have 15% here and 30% is become 45% then you need to have hr and hr is also 10 to 12% 
then you have uh, utility which is your electricity or gas or whatever you use or uh, you know the freezers and display counters and all that works on on utility it becomes another 10% and then you have a royalties on that and royalties are percentage of sales which he mentioned uh, if i'm correct it's about 8% so this you'd see would come down anything from a 75 to 80% would be your cost structures and what you're left with is about 20% return on sales uh, carefully understand return on sales so it means that if you're doing a 5 lakh rupees of business you probably would get about a lakh of rupee as well but now anything changes in this order uh, you will lose say for that matter you get a property which is giving 25% of occupancy cost it erodes your profitability if if your food cost goes up it erodes your profitability if you have too much of manpower it erodes your profitability so i feel that if you understand the science of doing food business it will help you to to design your models well so ketan we will now like to ask a few questions to you directly uh, and i will invite uh, sonia to uh, join in and start taking questions from uh, from ketan and uh, and ketan we are very very uh, happy to have you because you are a young guy and very passionate about what you do and i always believe people who have great passion especially in the food business and they are the people who would who would shine the food business needs extreme amount of uh, passion which you have always i have seen you you are very dedicated so over to you sonia thank you thank you so much uh, uh, ketan for coming on this webinar today and uh, i like your uh, candid expression when you started off uh, this presentation and you know apart from many industries that we are seeing today food is obviously the most talked about you know when it comes to franchising and uh, being a consultant ourselves it looks like that we're only selling food brands and uh, these times have seen uh, perhaps maybe you know the times of lockdown we we saw the biggest number of inquiries and uh, you know uh, joints like uh, yours and smaller qsr formats uh, doing great in the industry i have few questions you know which i wanted to start off you know and and historically we have seen the growth in the uh, restaurant industry for several decades has been driven by a consumer desire for convenience uh, you know which is close convenient food second is socialization you know people like to meet uh, over uh, maybe coffee food and and the third uh, and which is the most important part is the high quality of food and service and considering that the high quality of food and service is there to stay we also seeing a new trend which has emerged uh, which is uh, you know about uh, uh, the technology and the data which has come to surface where we see many companies you know coming online uh, and because of stronger demand of digital and delivery in, in not only these times but even before uh, the crisis uh, began now today's consumer are interacting uh, with restaurants uh, digitally even uh, you know from the delivery to uh, their take out the way they are paying uh, the way they are rating the experience so all that has uh, transformed uh, big time how do you see yourself uh, preparing uh, for the shift or do you already have uh, started doing that uh ma'am first of all i would like to tell everyone that we are opening our stores from tomorrow and because punjab is open now and chandigarh we are do doing delivery from a factory because it's a bakery so we are doing all the essential services uh bakery comes in essential service so we are doing all the breads everything in bakery even the cakes and even donuts are a part of bakery so we have got the permission for it but now how we have prepared for it it's uh, it's a task but you know at the end all the businesses in the coming time they have to do it or they won't be able to survive like there is a very strong there are very strong sops by the fssai of proper sanitization pro, uh, process you know uh, proper uh, sanitization pads uh, pesticide sprays all over the place and uh, maintaining all the hygiene level social distancing all of these things have come into place we have already adapted these proper sanitization sanitization booths are in place so jo hamari commercial vehicle aati hai jaati hai wo puri car sanitize hogi jo saman utra hai jo saman chad raha hai har bande ka temperature check hoga so it took us like a week to get into this uh, uh, sop and now we are all ready to open and uh, how do we how will what is the plan that we will survive or we will do good in this uh, after in this pandemic phase will be cutting down all the opex opexes like we are doing a very small menu 
लाइक पहले डेढ़ सौ प्रोडक्ट थे फॉर नाउ टिल दिंग्स बिकम फाइन जो मिनिमम फूड कॉस्ट वाले प्रोडक्ट है हम उसको स्पेशल मेन्यूज बना रहे हैं and uh, uh, we are also working on the rentals we are talking to the landlord because this time we cannot no company can give the rents jo pehle the at least 40 to 50% rent we would like to get get waivered off we are also the guideline also says that 33% staffing ke sath aapka chalna chahiye store ya factory so you know even the salaries have been you know uh, deducted or maybe reworked and aate logo ko humne mana karna pada because of the guideline so these three four things jinko mila ke hamare uh, kharche bahut kam ho gaye hain aur agar hamari sales because people have always been eating out since we are in the time of millennials कि 1990 से ऊपर जितने लोग हैं वो छह दिन बाहर से खाना मंगवाते हैं जोमेटो और स्विगी के थ्रू एंड अब जो टाइम है वो यही होगा कि लोग तो वही हैं बस वी आर इन दिस पेंडेमिक सो वी आर जस्ट केयर्ड सो आपकी जितने भी खर्चे हैं ब्रांड के वो सारे लो हो गए बट आपको विद टाइम तीन चार महीने में उस लेवल की सेल्स वापस मिलने लग जाएंगी बिकॉज जो ब्रांड अपने आप को अच्छी तरह मार्केट करेगा अपनी हाइजीनिक तरीके से अपने आप को मार्केट करेगा लोगों को दिखाएगा ऑनलाइन की हम कैसे आपका प्रोडक्ट बना रहे हैं टचलेस डिलीवरी वी हैव आल्सो स्टार्टेड दिस सर्विस व्हिच नो वन इज डूइंग इन आर एरिया व्हिच इज कॉल्ड अ कार हॉप सर्विस कि वी हैव गेटिंग सम वीडियोस मेड द समवन ऑर्डर्स द फूड एंड वी विल डिलीवर देम टू द कार एंड इट्स गोना बी कॉन्टैक्टलेस डिलीवरी सो द कार हॉप सर्विस इज अ वी आर गेटिंग अ वेरी गुड रिस्पांस ऑन आवर मार्केटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म दैट कार हॉप इज अ वेरी ब्रिलियंट आइडिया बिकॉज डोमिनो स्टार्टेड विद एन ऑल अदर्स ब्रांड स्टार्टेड विद अ कॉन्टैक्टलेस डिलीवरी दिस कार हॉप सर्विस इज द फर्स्ट वी वी आर द फर्स्ट वंस टू डू इट सो खर्चे कम है आपकी सेल्स वापस नॉर्मल हो जाएंगी एंड अभी अगर आपके खर्चे कम नहीं है यू कैन सिट विद योर लैंड लॉर्ड एंड यू कैन ऑब्वियसली टॉक टू देम एवरी वन इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट नाउ सो दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम अपने खर्चे कम करने का बिकॉज एवरी वन इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो या start a food franchise now while you will have 3 to 4 months or what i call a little bit of gestation but imagine if you took the property right now you will get it at 40 50% discount and if you get it 40 50% and you're running the business for 5 years or 10 years imagine in 10 years how much money you going to save people are thinking about these 3 months 4 months we all know after 4 months things would be same we will still eat out right but you make a benefit of that discount on rental which is your major cost for next 5 years or 10 years so intelligent people always make decisions to buy businesses at the time where the inputs are low so this is a great time even the brands are giving greater options uh, so if you are thinking of doing a business like this make your decisions right now but with with, with you know with all the carefulness about food safety uh, people safety your own safety that's very important but this is a very important point to you may just adding on to that you know especially food you know it looks like a very attractive uh, industry and a lot of people don't make money only for one big reason uh, which is food cost which is still in the hands of a franchisee or the brand to control you know uh, we can see to improve that cost but the other big cost which really affects your bottom line and the margins are the rentals the occupancy cost which is very difficult because that, that is not something which is in our control and somebody is investing in these times i'm seeing a lot of these companies uh, while a lot of uh, brands are downsizing they're seeing where they need to do their footprint uh, rationalization but many companies are looking at properties which will make sense in these times because we have never seen a time like this you know where the rentals would come down and i was reading some days back almost 20% of spaces in malls uh, also in high street areas have already started uh, getting vacant and this number would be higher when it comes to your neighborhood market convenient market so i feel this is a very good uh, time for somebody who really wants to invest in an opportunity like this and also ketan just to add on you know a lot of uh, businesses especially in food uh, you know they they will also start facing tough decisions when they start opening you mentioned you're opening uh, tomorrow and a uh, lot of that will depend on how the starting point of uh, food companies would be and the actions which are taken by the leadership like you and which i see uh, a very uh, positive uh, you know statement which you made in terms of the preparation as a brand that you have made uh, i'll ask another question on the profile of people you know when you started your uh, presentation you talked about uh, your own experience relatively uh, you know you were inexperienced in food 
and uh, with our own experience also we have seen a lot of people investing in food as a business are people who don't come with any kind of uh, background or experience especially in the food while we see in many other industries like retail or sometimes in education where people have some kind of experience and they want to carry forward their experience in the businesses but food relatively uh, is a business even a uh, lot of young entrepreneurs we see you know coming in food you're an entrepreneur and today all the top uh, food brands or chains that we are seeing are all run by young entrepreneurs so i wanted to understand you know what kind of profile do you really seek uh, when it comes to uh, you know your brand super donuts what kind of profile of people are you looking at uh, and uh, maybe give an example of your current uh, mix of uh, franchisees okay uh, ma'am coming to this i don't think any uh, there's any specific kind of an uh, franchisee or investor i think food business is the easiest business you can do because uh, you know you don't need a degree for that you don't need any paper appreciation koi bhi ye kaam kar sakta hai but it's it has to be in uh, one straight line you if you go left and right in the food industry you always tend to make mistakes for uh, for for instance like i have made all the sops i have made everything in place so if someone takes up my franchise super donuts so he has to do nothing he has to just overlook after the training we give him ki food cost ki hum unko training de rahe hain hum unko kaise ban raha hai everything will be assembled a b c d like dhruv said is equal to e sab kuch hum apna saman bhej rahe hain kisi chef ki zarurat nahi hai kisi 12th class ka pass hua hua bachcha bhi hamare store pe kaam kar sakta hai 18 plus it's one o'clock so uh, you know it's very easy for the people to get into the fnb business and for example i'm going to give you some example uh, we have a franchise in elante mall so the girl who is running it she was a marketing head for 2 years she had a marketing background and she wanted to take up a franchise and we gave them uh, we gave her this opportunity to run elante super donuts and now she's doing wonders she's getting a lot of profit she's also working with us and now she is she wants us to give her another franchise in cosmo mall zirakpur because she's handling it really well so ek the marketing ka background ka banda agar aake ek franchise chala sakta hai aur wo expand karna cha raha hai to i think anyone can and some other franchises have other businesses plywood ka business hai kisi ka koi kisi koi doctor hai but unko din mein 3 ghante aake lagate hain wo they just you know overlook ki kya ho raha hai kal raat ko kya hua everything is in place so it, if we are giving them support then it koi bhi even the manager can become an owner you know anyone can become an owner and aane wala jo time hai so many people are losing their jobs and anyone can you know take out 10 to 15 lakhs and uh, buy a small model which we are working on from us and become an entrepreneur and uh, you know can be successful in this uh, industry ketan just to add on to that i also feel you know for food as a category it's very uh, easy entry there are no barriers so to say to enter a industry like this and also uh times like that we are seeing uh, we are also seeing a lot of organized players who should start doing very well because of uh, you know a suspicion of unhygienic street food which will, people will start uh, getting rid of i will start taking some questions uh, which our uh, investors have uh, started to uh, post but before that uh, i wanted to uh, perhaps you know ask you one thing Uh, which is uh, because these times are very critical times like you mentioned people uh, have lost jobs they will lose jobs uh, and and you know uh, there's little investment uh, perhaps they are left with and they want to put in something they can really have uh, trust on so uh, as a business model uh, the biggest uh, risk of people is uh, putting the initial capex and you know ongoing operating expenses which you talked about you know reducing on the staff and uh, certain structure which will help in reducing the operating expenses uh, is there a stimulus or incentives you want to offer to people who want to look at this proposition uh, in this time maybe you know for this month is there is something over and above you want to offer to your investors who want to consider taking a franchise of soko donuts ma'am like dhruv said we have another brand called the eaters which is totally american comfort food now since we are working on this cloud kitchen model uh, that's also an american menu uh, so with super donuts we can offer them ki aap uska bhi menu hum de sakte hain plus we can do a shop and shop agar kisi ko investment zyada nahi karni stand alone store nahi kholna aane wale time mein cause log darenge aane se har banda cloud kitchen ki taraf ja raha hai shop and shops mein ja raha hai so we are also working on this uh, model starting from 10 lakhs so that's like an incentive only because you know you're opening a well renowned chain in 10 lakhs 12 lakhs model 
so i think uh, maybe obviously the franchise fee has gone down because the model is now 10 12 lakhs 15 lakhs which was 20 earlier so we are, we are calculating and we are almost done with the model so it's going to be a win win situation for both of us because you know at this time if, if someone wants to start he has he has uh, he has something to start with in a low investment and we have something to give in a low investment it uh... Yeah, then so I'll take some questions which are very quick. Uh, there's somebody who's asked about the royalty. There's a royalty component of sixty thousand. People want to know if that's a monthly royalty you're talking about or that's the annual royalty. And there's also a percentage that uh, we see in the presentation. So it is either of the two, whichever is higher, or there's a fixed royalty structure that you have in your business model. Ma'am, for now, what was going on was sixty thousand uh, monthly, which we takes from which we take from the sales or eight percent of the sales, whichever is higher. But we also give them a cool down period for the first two months, three months. Ki jab tak you start, you know, getting into the business when you start running it properly. Uske baad we start taking the royalty. And now since the model has changed, the investment has changed. You know, the sales will not be. Uh, like before for for the next six eight months, so we will be uh, supporting the franchisees fully. Ki on a mutual agreement, ki ham che mahine, art mahine, we will bear with you and and also we are also trying to cut down on the royalty, which will be around forty, thirty five, forty, depending on the location and everything. Because it right now we all have to learn a lot from this uh, present time. We can't commit, but we can at least you know mold ourselves accordingly. Okay, so what I'm reading and understanding is uh, that there will be reduction in the royalty, which somebody uh, wanted to understand, and also because uh, the sales comparatively uh, would go down and will take some time to pick up. So you will consider a reduction in the royalty and the fixed percentage, and over and above, we'll also support the franchisee in uh, marketing, which is online and maybe local marketing, which was also a part of your presentation. I have a second question uh, where uh, you know one gentleman wants to know the break even or the operational uh, break even, so to say. Well, the ROI you mentioned will take about two odd years, one and a half to two years, for an outlet to uh, start giving you returns. What, according to you, is uh, the month or, or the revenues on which uh, an outlet should start breaking even on the monthly operating costs? Uh, Ma'am, from my experience. so the first month is also a break even month for us because you know uh, when we start we have a lot of uh, staffing we have a lot of uh, back end support so agar if the sales are 6 lakhs and we have eight people so then we put pull out two three people and then we uh, you know put them at our other stores so that unka salaries down ho jaye because that's the support we give so agar salaries kam ho jati hain food cost badi uh, kam hai hi pehle तो ये सारी चीजें मिला के एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे वी सपोर्ट देम इन दिस आल्सो okay i have somebody who wants to understand the kind of licenses which are needed you know every business needs some kind of licenses which are which are the important licenses a band or a business like yours would need to operate ma'am it totally depends in the state you're working in because in chandigarh it's very difficult to you know uh, you have to take a license on the pollution department then you have to take a license from fssai that's fssai you have to take all over india then you have a license to consent and consent of, of uh, establishment so there are different uh, aspects of licensing which we provide to the franchisee that he has to uh, take these three four licenses which are and we help them out as well Uh, in those specific areas so that won't be a problem licensing is like nothing to before we start a business it's like a cake walk for us and even the franchisee will be able to cope up with it so what do you mean to say you will help franchisee uh, based on the state or the region he is from to advise him on the licenses uh, perhaps he would need to start the operations Uh, ma'am since we uh, hire local people if we start working in a specific area like gujarat we have our own team now working uh, you know doing the recce of the location and uh, the kind of business we will get so we have these li- licensing guys and all of these people in place in uh, different states okay i have mr prakash uh, who wants to understand the difference uh, between the cloud kitchen and the shop front as explained by uh, mr maria so i think i part of that i can explain so cloud kitchen is a, a kitchen which does not require to be in a premium spot it can be in a location which is densely populated the uh, deliveries are quicker the rentals are low uh, and you need not have people coming in and uh, taking these services it is not a dine in 
while the show front is some uh, uh, a format where people come they experience they sit uh, in these uh, restaurants and they experience the food as well as these services and rentals comparatively are higher you know these are uh, locations which are higher on rental uh, because people come and sit and you also require a bigger uh, format uh, cloud kitchens comparatively requires a small format uh, 200 300 square feet of space uh, which is good enough for preparation and deliveries while shop front would need uh, space for seating display of items where people can come and experience you know it is not transactional uh, while cloud kitchens are purely transactional um, venues where you know food is prepared and sent and i hope uh, that answers i have mr parin gala who wants to know uh, ketan you mentioned that a lot of your products are imported from europe and considering the situation that we are in uh, you still would procure and do you see any difficulties in procurement of uh, the supplies from uh, international uh, locations one second i like to add another question you know what is the current uh, shelf life of your products you talked about uh, your business model being edit proof which means anybody like a ccd and in many many other cafe chains that we see it does not require a dependency on the chef which is very good and a lot of businesses uh, like yours and ice creams and you know parlors and cafes are in similar businesses where you know there's uh, zero dependency on the chef so how how do you want to look at this uh, you know how long is a uh, shelf life any training uh, which a franchisee needs on the food and uh, maybe on the technical know how how well you are geared on this front uh, ma'am uh, as far as the raw material is concerned uh, pr- uh, material coming to the bombay port from europe is not a problem right now so ho- thankfully we are not facing any problem because all the problem is uh, from the asian side uh, china and taiwan all of that so second the shelf life of the product is uh, you know now we have to uh, if we do a franchisee model which is around 300 to 400 kilometers away from chandigarh we make the donuts uh, and the all other products uh, in our base kitchen and then we you know uh, supply it to the franchisee and once and we have also come up with a blasting technique we are blasting our products in minus 18 so they have a shelf life of more than 10 to 15 days otherwise it has a shelf life of more than 2 months but we tell the uh, franchisee to you know uh, use these products within 10 to 12 15 days maximum and uh, if someone takes up a master franchisee then we are giving them a whole proper setup of making the donuts for the bakery because they have to anyway uh, invest in a kitchen and then they can uh, supply from their kitchen to other franchisees they going to take up so yeah like how we are working in chandigarh and north india we would want a master franchisee to run it the same way like uh, the, the same base kitchen model we are doing and if it's a single unit then we supply uh, within 400 350 square uh, kilometers I have one uh, inquiry which talks about your master franchisee fee. Is there a master franchisee fee for uh, uh, which is standard across all territories, or that is based on the number of uh, potential locations in that particular state? Do we have a fixed master franchise fee to be offered to prospective master franchisees? Ma'am, it totally depends on the state. Where, for example, a state like Gujarat, we all know that Gujarat people love eating sweets and people love eating overall. so the franchisee fee will be something else and if, if we go to some other state where you know you think that for example up or bihar uh, things going to take time for people to understand the product it's going to take a few years or maybe few months then it varies it's it's all a mutual understanding but majorly we have a set franchisee fee but uh, yeah what kind of investment do you foresee for a, a smaller model which is shop and shop we talked about a shop and shop model which can be inside uh, maybe a retail outlet or a, a bigger departmental store what kind of investment would go we have one of the investors from bombay uh, who might be keen he has a location which uh, perhaps he has seen and he would like to open so what kind of investment on a uh, broad structure would a shop and shop involve ma'am first of all uh, the shop and shop will be under 10 lakhs or maybe less but if someone is uh, someone is willing to take up a shop and shop in maharashtra for that we have to give the master franchisee rights to someone in maharashtra first and then he can you know do all these small shop and shops or cloud kitchens take away then he has to handle it we can't give one unit franchisee of a shop and shop model straight to uh, straight into maharashtra 
Okay, this brings me to a question because I see uh, in that chat room a lot of inquiries which are coming for UNIT also from various cities outside Delhi, NCR, and and North India, so to say. You know, locations like Bombay, Hyderabad, uh, and overall South uh, West. I am seeing many inquiries pouring in. So, are we looking at only UNIT? Uh, uh, are we looking only at a master franchisee model first to get signed, and then we'll start awarding UNIT franchisees, or somebody who cannot uh, perhaps have the bandwidth or the investment to make a for a master franchisee are we considering a unit or a multi unit uh, strategy as well uh, yeah ma'am we are also considering a multi unit strategy if uh, you know the investment uh, is less then we can you sign up something that you have to open three stores in this specific area and we won't even give the rights to a master franchisee for this area or even if the master franchisee comes in the picture later on then he can you know just take over all these three uh, units so that will be a possibility but totally again depends if it's like hyderabad or bangalore then even the unit franchisee has the multi unit franchisee has to make a base kitchen he has to do that investment and he can also run a cloud kitchen from that base kitchen and run two parallel outlets with time uh, we can you know set a timeline for the next uh, for 7 months 8 months that you have to open three or maybe one year so things can be worked out but not a single single you uh, Sure. Okay. So I think we have uh, we have overrun our time, uh, and uh, uh, Sonia, we would like to take maybe one or two more questions. One question which is critical, and then I think teams which follow the the chat room and and send all the messages. Ketan, you can also put your email ID on the on the chat, and sure, so so anybody can reach you on on perspective. So Sonia, last question from you, or last word from your side. we have many questions coming in what we can do ketan is uh, and i will request dhruv uh, and arshna perhaps to take up these questions on a one on one uh, call uh, or uh, maybe a conference you know post this seminar uh, webinar is over i like to say you know a lot of people consider uh, uh, franchising as an option and especially food is one of the most attractive uh, industries uh, which people feel uh, one very important uh, you know uh, parameter which i feel everybody has to consider is uh, you know getting operationally involved we 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 receive a lot of inquiries for people who just want to invest in businesses and they want uh, the company to take over and take care of all the operations but we have to understand you know food unlike many other industries requires a physical uh, presence and time of the entrepreneur and that is what makes all the difference in the margin so somebody who is very keen needs to also take the entire training on the business model we cannot be running on a foco model it is not a passive investment it requires your time to be involved and i would request anybody who is considering food as an opportunity or an option to invest in has to ensure that they are putting their times and foco in most of the cases is never an option especially in a food industry so if you look at this industry please ensure that you have enough time to run and take care of day to day operations So I'd like to thank uh, Ketan uh, for this presentation. We have many inquiries where people want to understand uh, the capex uh, structure, the investment which is required uh, for for various formats, and uh, we'd like to take that up one on one with all of them. And uh, last word from you, Ketan, which you want to uh, give to all the viewers on this uh, webinar. Um, I would like to tell everyone that in this uh, pandemic, we are all together. But for the food industry and the franchise industry. it's not going to be a big hit uh, we will recover from this uh, loss very soon like in the 6 8 uh, next 6 eight months and uh, how franchise india has come up with these uh, webinars and you know sp still spreading business all over and still people are people want to connect with franchise india and all other brands so all of us will be in a good state very soon as soon as this ends and things have started to become better and i would want to tell that you know we should just be positive right now and not think about the future much because it's all going to be fine absolutely and we all going to be fine and we all going to be thriving uh, that's what uh, uh, the franchise industry has always done franchise industry is uh, one of the fastest to return rather grow after any recession because people change careers and they look at new opportunities and opening a bakery or opening a donut shop makes a lot of people happy so if you're thinking of doing good business and you're starting a new business maybe this is your option and we have a super entrepreneur with super donuts so uh, ketan i would have last question for you which is not business what is your favorite donut in your donut shop what what do you go and eat every time sir uh, apart from donuts i have a few donuts but apart from donuts 
I've made the menu myself, so I like yes. all the things <laughs> that I've made. Make uh, one choice. I, make one choice. One choice is very difficult. So no, if no, you, no, no. you make one choice. So w- one best seller is Team Double, which is filled inside with chocolate and topped with chocolate. But that's not my favorite. So <laughs> I have a favorite which is called the Binofi Pie Donut and the Butter Chicken Donut. So it's butter chicken donut. Butter uh, chicken. Butter yeah. chicken donut from Chandigarh is the uh, is the recipe, and this is this should go to. I think London. You should take reverse and sell London butter chicken donut. Uh, let's hope for the best, and we will surely do this. And I will send uh, a box of London butter chicken donuts to you and Sonia, man. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Look forward. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, the final word from Archana to close the meeting. Thank you. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Thank you, Gaurav sir, Sonia, ma'am, Ketan, for a wonderful session. As Gaurav sir said, it's a happy business. we wish all you to have this happy business have a great weekend happy saturday thank you so much